Hi, this is Michael and Shelby, and we are going to talk about today about some weird Native American myths on the mythological podcast of stories. Shelby, take it away. So the first myth is called When Squirrels Were Huge, and it basically goes, at one point in time, there was these squirrels, and they were so huge that they walked around and, like, stepped on trees and, like, ate all the people, but one time he ate a person and ripped him up and ate him, and then Creator got really mad because that was his first human and wow. turned him really tiny. Really tiny. Yeah, and to squirrel size, so as the, we see today. So the first creator got mad at the squirrels because they ate humans. Yeah. And then made them into little squirrels. Into tiny little squirrels. And now we eat, now we eat the squirrels. Why were, squirrel, why were they big to begin with? Um, I don't know, but they just stomped around the forest, ate alligators and shit. See, that doesn't, that doesn't make any sense to me. See, when I see a squirrel, I see a cute little animal just hopping around the forest. I don't see... I can't imagine it just being something gigantic. What I don't understand is why when squirrels were huge, they were carnivores. But now that they're little, all they do is eat nuts. Well, who, whose idea was it to have big squirrels in the first place? Like, who thought, like, whoa, I think one-time squirrels were big. Was it a child or was it a parent? Like, I think they were just explaining why it's now small. Okay. So All right. they were All right. cursed All to right. littleness. Well, I have a couple more questions about myths in general, but I think I think you have another story to tell before we go more into that. Yeah, there's another one about um, the lonely cob of corn. And basically it goes, is this chick was picking corn in a field, and she thought she picked them all, and she was walking away with her corn basket, and then she hears a cry. And she's like, is there a baby lost in this field somewhere? And she goes, and she's searching through the field for a baby, and then she sees a little ear of corn that was the only corn left in the field in the corner, and it was crying because you didn't pick it. And then from that time on, everyone remembered to pick all of the corn in the field, or else you'd make the corn sad, and it would cry. That one makes even less sense than the first one, because... Why would corn want people to pick it? Because I think a corn cob would be frightened of people because people eat corn. Well, I mean, it's just one job is to be eaten. It's just, it's just one job is to be eaten? Yeah, like, it's like if your one job was to be awesome and I made you, like, be sucky all the time. Well, yeah, but if, okay, I guess, I guess so. But, like, I know parents today, they tell their kids not to waste food. Yeah, kids eat like it's nuts. just like, because it was girls picking the corn, you gotta make them feel bad for the corn, or else they won't pick it all, and then you'll be wasteful. I suppose, but it doesn't, it's kind of weird if you said, oh, eat all your food, or else your food will be sad. Your food will be sad, Michael. Will it be sad? It I, will be so sad. My food's already dead. I don't think my food's gonna be sad. It'll be sad. Okay. So are those kids in Africa. So I'll, I have a few more questions about these myths that, uh... My teachers never really explained to me, like, do people actually believe these stories or are these just, like, stories you tell to the kids when they um, ask silly questions? I think at one point they might have believed it because they just wanted something to explain what they're seeing around them or why they do things. But I think at, after a while, when more religions developed, they probably just made it more like a fun thing to tell kids. You know, I'm not, I'm not so sure. Why? Oh, well... Because people make up stories all the time, but that doesn't mean they just start believing in them. Well, you, they, were, they were made, their purpose was to explain what is going on around them. Well, yeah, but still, somebody just made it up. So Yeah, why well, I mean, you could say somebody just made up modern religions. Well, I, uh, I'm not talking about religions, I'm talking about these stories that you were just saying right but now. But to these people, those were their religion. Their stories were their But the corn faiths. being sad? Yeah, it was, was their it faith. Though? That they believed. I'm not so as sure. As a Native American, your whole life would be surrounded well, by your corn and your I think, crop. I think as uh, participants in a modern world, I think we lack a lot of perspective from that kind of time. Like, people assume things. Like, have you heard, you seen like the internet meme, like uh, people talk about how the Egyptians supposedly worshipped cats. Yeah. It's like, what if what if the Egyptians, they just really liked cats? Like They can you, read the hieroglyphics about them liking cats, because one of the gods was a cat. Yeah, but what if it's just being like, they're just saying like, oh, the cat, cat's a god. Ha ha ha, look at the funny cat. 
<laughs> so if somebody could today put something on the internet like all oh, hail cat god or all oh, hail I don't know whatever meme of the day is but like somebody in the future will they think that we worship cats or I don't know we have a better way of reps well, I guess we do recording keep, information we do keep track of a lot of stuff but I'm not We're like the Nazis we keep everything very organized but I, I have really a hard time believing that somebody just thought to themselves wow Squirrels were big at one time. You gotta explain why they're now little and why you eat them. Yeah, but why them. Why do you have to explain they were once big? They don't say people it's were f- once little. Yeah. But I mean, it's fun. Oh, they, don't say, they don't say trees were once the size of flowers. They don't say That's that either. That's because we don't believe in... Um, nature-based religions anymore. Nature-based well, I know, but no, well, that's that's not fair. That's just saying, okay, the sun is sky. No, <laughs> the sun is not sky. I meant to say the sky is blue. Someone doesn't look at the sky and they say, okay, at one point the sky was green. But I don't see what that has to do anything with someone's religion. It just says so the sky is blue and it was once green. Well, I mean, well, it But could... it doesn't make any sense to just say that. I don't understand. Well, I guess in some ways the myths could be for entertainment. Because imagine if you're a Native American living in a tribe. How interesting would your life be if all you do is farm and crop and hunt? I mean, myths would be some sort of entertainment. Oh, it would have been entertainment. I would Sit say around that. your campfire. Like I say, tell and... stories, but I don't, you don't have to believe in everything you hear. Well. The, it, that, that bit of... Advice goes just as well now as it does then. You don't believe everything you hear. I don't know. If I, I think Santa's real. Oh, uh, do you? Yeah. Do you really? Yeah, I oh, believe okay. in what I hear. Okay. Well, how else do I get my pres- Christmas? Okay. okay. On Christmas. I bet you also I believe. I also heard bells. I bet you also believe that uh, vaccines cause autism. No, because that's dumb. <laughs> all right. Well, I think that's about all the time we have for today so the rest is up for you to decide shelby you have any closing remarks that vaccines don't cause autism no that's that's not a thing okay. all right all right do it with me shelby hey, hey. All right.